What's going on everybody? Brendan here, Dad Planet. Yeah, we did a thing. We went to the amusement park, King's Island. And boy, riding roller coasters in your 40s, a lot different than riding them in your 20s. Let me know in the comments, the delirium. Would you ride this? Yes, those are human legs hanging off like a, like a big centipede off of that pendulum swinging uh, roller coaster, if that's what you call that. But a lot of fun nonetheless. My oldest daughter almost barked when she went on one of the uh, smaller ones. So had to kind of peel it back from riding the roller coasters with the kiddos. But me having my like thinking brain on or my, my bolo brain, they actually have Squishmallows at these parks. Not only do they have them at Kings Island, they have them at Cedar Point as well. And I'm sure there are other parks around uh, the country that have Squishmallows that are exclusive like this one, the Beast to the park so i feel like if you pick some of these up and you hold on to them they'll retain their value and increase in value because of the limited edition releases this one doesn't have any sales on it but those are two active listings for that diamond back one but i think if you bought some of these and held them even towards maybe the holiday the value would definitely go up and then they have a back wall here with a bunch of other Squishmallows. Now these ones aren't limited edition, so you can find them in stores as well. This one looks like it had some good sales comparable data on it, so that was kind of fun to see. But yeah, they have a whole back wall and, and a lot of the other gift shops were carrying smaller versions of these as well. They wanted $100 for this one on the bottom. I thought that was so crazy. But yes, even at the amusement parks, you can find items to be on the lookout for in your reselling business. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into the bolos. All right, all right, all right. Another slow one, 1900 in gross sales, 1200 in net. Nothing to be terribly excited about. Sort of a carryover from the July 4th weekend and uh, just is what it is. Average sale price, still good though, so nothing to complain about there, but anyway, let's get into it. First one, this was an experiment. So in your reselling business, you wanna take risks from time to time, calculated, small ones. And this was one of those. A pair of pants sold for $35, so I'm, I'm happy with that. It took about three months for them to sell. Roundhouse, 1903 American made, 34 by 34. I disclosed that there was a little mark on the knee. I don't know if, I'm sure I photographed it. Yeah, so you can see that right there. But they still sold. Now, on the comps on the screen, the bibs from Roundhouse are the things that you probably want to look for before the pants. But because they're so few and far between, like the denim jeans for this brand, when you find them, take a shot at it because 35 bucks is wonderful. I, these might be vintage, but I didn't do enough research on the tag or the brand to be able to distinguish whether they're 20 years old or not. So just passed on that. But if you see the bibs, the denim uh, overalls or whatever, grab those because that's the bigger bolo of this brand than the jeans are. But I think the jeans will probably still sell pretty well just because they're so few and far between. So keep that in mind. Next one, Taylor Swift. Okay, Brendan, when you're in store, I see I only give myself about 30 minutes to source when I'm in store if like, you know, everything's going normal. If they're like machine gunning carts with all sorts of new stuff from the back, you know, I'll dilly dally around, wait a little bit longer, but I, sometimes I move too quickly and I miss things. This is a perfect example of what I missed. Their CD was missing. The CD was not in, but it was heavy because it's got this, and I, we actually own this at home, so I knew what was in it, but um, it felt heavy when I, when I was picking it up in stores. I didn't bother to check to see if the disc's in there, and the people are nice enough to always remind you, hey, did you check to see if it was in there? So I probably blew them off. Yeah, that's it, I checked. Um, but I still got $10 for it because this is a, a desirable CD. I'll uh, take you through some of the pictures. It comes with like, she's got like photographs in there. Uh, there's a bunch of like stuff that came with this um this cd so this was the target exclusive 1989 is the title and um, the comparables are anywhere from 15 dollars if you price it low up to i think 50 and more as you can see or have seen by one of those comparables and i didn't delve further into that one to see why it sold for 50 bucks i just knew that i could probably get 25 dollars for it if I had the CD. Still getting 10 for only paying 99 cents is um, is wonderful. And, oh, by the way, the pants, 10-10 uh, in shipping for that. So they're 45-10 all in. I paid $5 for that. I paid uh, $1 for the CD. We'll move on to the next one. Got this for free. Facebook Marketplace, a, a absolute ton of vintage Barbie stuff that my daughters are still playing with. So I don't really know when that stuff's gonna go online, if it's gonna go on line at all for me to resell. But I took the Bratz dolls, Lotted a few of them up, picked out some of the ones that I thought had value. This Jade doll, the Wintertime Wonderland Jade doll, Bolo, 
for both the new one and used. She was even missing her feet. I'll take you through some of the images here. Looking great. There you see easy missing feet. And uh, 2001, she still sold for full price. 20 bucks for 3.99 in shipping. Uh, buyer is 23.98 all in. I think I got positive feedback on this one already. Paid zero dollars. Cannot beat that with a baseball bat. We will move on to the next one. So this fits in Floyd um, kitchen sink. It comes, and you'll see when I put the comps on the screen. Comes together with some other cookie jars, like as a set. These rolled out on a card at Goodwill. The other pieces to that set were there, but they were all chipped up and kind of damaged. This one was the only one that was not damaged. So it was from 1984, small kitchen sink, really pretty. And it is a bolo for all three pieces. This one notwithstanding, so you see Omnibus right here in 1994. I don't know if those are, if that says five L or SL, if those initials, I don't know what that means. But this sold for $33.99 with uh, $12.50 in shipping. So $46.49 all in, great sale. I paid $4.99 for it. The other ones were also marked $4.99. I did see that they had since sold because I go to this store often. And uh, they were there for a couple of days and then somebody decided to scoop it up and take a chance on them, even with the flaws, even with the chips. I was not willing to do that, but um, 34 on five, can't beat it. Great sale. Look out for these, they are a bolo. Next one, Le Creuset Heritage. Cerise Red, little baking dish, two and a half quarts, I believe. Um, I have to check, Comes came with the lid. This was coming out also on a cart at Goodwill late night, I believe, for $9.99. And I sold it for, I had it listed for $60 and I sold it for $55 with $13.30 in shipping. So the buyer is $68.30 all in. Le Creuset, I almost never even look it up. I just throw it in the cart. I've actually sold a couple of pieces that have been missing tops that have had cracks in them, it still it still sells. So if you're not actively sourcing this, get get on it because it's as easy a sale as you're ever gonna come by in terms of um, you know baking and home goods and cooking and all of that. So we'll move on to the next one. You guys have heard me say the video game market's the best there is. It is, it's the best there is on eBay. You can't beat it. This Guitar Hero guitar is Explorer X-PLOR ER, the model number is 95065. Make sure you are looking for it. I actually undersold this at $55 with $955 in shipping. So the buyer is $64.54 all in. I paid $399 for it. The market for this is actually $65 as evidenced by the comparables on the screen. So price it $10 more, you will get it. When I'm when I tell you video game this the video game category is just it's phenomenal on ebay no joke here's another guitar this one you want to look for model 95905.805 use that in your title if you can fit it and um, it's the red version and there's a sunburst version that has like orange and, and uh, yellow colors in it this one is specifically red for the xbox 360 and it's sold for full price $49.99 with $11.75 in shipping. So the buyer is $61.74 all in. This also cost me $3.99. I found both of those guitars at the same time. They almost sold at the same time too, two different buyers. So get on it. Now, this guitar can be um, broken down. This latch right here separates those two pieces and then you can pack it and make it compact. So it's not uh, you know this big 32, 33 inch box that you have to uh, Franken box. This one can be con consolidated into one box. So keep that in mind. Don't let that intimidate you if you're not familiar with the video game category or market or uh, the Guitar Hero stuff in general. It's selling well. There was a period of time where the, gu the guitars were not selling. They were plentiful in stores and then with the pandemic hit and all of a sudden it's back and it has sort of stayed. So keep that in mind. Next one, Polo Ralph Lauren. Not something I would normally source, but the uh, the 3X size is what appealed to me. This one had a little bit of a stain. You can see it right here. I photographed it, and you can see the it's um, 3X tall. So let's take a picture, of, or let's get to the picture of the stain right there. And um, this sold relatively quickly, I think because of the size and the fact that it's stripes. Stripes sell insanely well for the Polo Ralph Lauren short sleeve Polo brand. I think their long sleeve is probably the same. Um, Stripes, big market for it. So make sure you have striped or stripes in your titles, your descriptions, um, item specifics. If it goes in there somewhere, I'm not I'm not really sure, but uh, definitely the titles in the description. So 20 bucks, I thought was a fair price and uh, $3.99 shipping. So the buyer is $23.98 all in, cost me $4.99. Not as big of a return as uh, you see in some of these videos, but the brand and the size 
is a bolo. So that's why I have it in there for you. So look out for it. All right, next one. It wouldn't be a Brendan What's Sold video without a pair of shocks, right? I mean, they sell so well for me. I'm hoping you guys can find them. This one was just like a real, real show off piece. I didn't get $90 for them, but the um, style and colorway 639657-101. I got $76.49 for them with 10 10 in shipping. So the buyer is $86.59 all in. They cost me $4.39. I mean, the color scheme is really unique with like the turquoisey blue, sea greenish, like, uh, you know, neon yellow volt color. And the soles were, I think, in pretty, pretty excellent condition. Let me get to them. So soles look good. And then you can see the insoles look like they're in great shape as well. So Nike Shocks Current, obviously a no-brainer. Source them get them sold. We'll move on to the next one. You guys hear me talk about the vinyl market, just so phenomenal. So get comfortable sourcing vinyl records. So I, there was a time when I was sourcing them and I was like kind of deathly afraid to take the chance because of the grading system and there's good and very good plus and very good plus plus and excellent and near mint and oh my gosh, it can get confusing. Now, through having sold some of them and, and getting uh, feedback from my customer base, I'm much more confident to list them and then kind of eyeball and grade them on my own. So this one was, you know, obviously Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. I try to take pictures of them so that they can see. And again, these are not high quality pictures. It's just me doing the best I can, right? Taking imperfect action. But uh, they, they look like they were in pretty good shape. So... I was really comfortable listing them as very good plus to excellent and it sold for $33.99 with $3.99 in shipping. So the buyer is $37.98 all in. This vinyl record cost me $0.99. Cents. I still have a bunch and they are selling you know, $20, $15, $30, $40 really well. So don't be afraid to source in a new category it it uh you'll get you'll get better at it just like you do with anything else right it's like riding a bike once you figure it all out it kind of sticks with you for life so that was a great sale move on to the next one squish mellow this was a justice exclusive i don't know if this one was scented or not i didn't put scented in there but 11 inch my colors or my colors my pictures are very colorful so the item looks very vibrant and it ended up selling for a uh, full price, $44.99 with $3.99 in shipping. So the buyer is $48.98 all in. It cost me $0.99. Cents. I'll put comps on the screen. You can see that even though some of the ones that sold that were like eight inch, this was the 11 inch model, I got way more money for it. And I think that's because of my very clear picture, pictures relative to those other ones that sold. They just, uh, the pictures, picture quality was not good. So I got full price for that, 45 bucks. Amazing on $1, we'll move on to the next one. Um, Fab Starpoint Backpack. Now is the time to start thinking along the lines of Halloween uh, and even before that back to school because that's going to start happening in August. So this was a timely sale relative to that time frame. Again, you can have a little, like a little mini fourth quarter here with just back to school items. So look for those things, backpacks, all of the things associated with you know pen, paper, pencils, calculators, that type of stuff. Uh, that stuff's going to start turning over quickly more so than it does throughout the course of the year because of the um, back to school season, which is basically right now. But anyway, this was Charizard and uh, 50 bucks is what I got for it, full price from 2014. Buyer paid $8.25 in shipping. So they're $58.25 all in. It cost me $5.99. It's not the only version. There's a red version too that's like super fire. And I think that one sold for $55 if, I, uh, if the, I'm remembering the comparables. But I'll have them on the screen for you so you can see for yourself. Great sale. We'll move on to the next one. A pair of boots in July, Sorel, Joan of Arctic. Now, having sold uh, hundreds of pairs of these brand new Amazon FBA, I mean, they were like 200, 225 is what I would sell them for new when I was doing uh, when I was doing FBA. This was a bottom bargain price at 40 bucks for this pair of boots that was in nice condition. So whoever bought these, they got a steal on them. But I had them priced aggressively because again, we got a little bit of wear right here, which is you know not going to really have that much of a, of an effect on their on their overall performance. But the fact that it's July and uh, we have a ways to go. We have about two or three more months before boots really start to sell. So you're gonna wanna look for the fries of the world, Sorel. Um, I was okay with getting 40 bucks for it. So um, 14.65 is what they paid in shipping. So 54.64 is what they're all in. They only cost me $4.99, so it was a really good price. If I was listing these in October, I would have listed them in the 50 to $60 range. 
um, just knowing what I know. So for those of you who are not familiar with this particular style, the Joan of Arctic style, NL1452-248, a good seller, much more so uh, in the fall and winter season. So keep that in mind. We'll move on to the next one. Another Le Creuset piece. This was beautiful. I did, however, have to clean it. And um, when I clean these, I heat, and I'll give you a very, very quick run through of how I clean them. I warm it, I get put it on like a low like simmer setting so I get it warm and I use a little bit of vegetable oil, not extra virgin olive oil, especially when you're cooking um, with it. Never use that type of oil. Um, just use the vegetable oil and a little bit of table salt and I rub it with a um, just with a paper towel until it comes completely clean and I take my time and uh, it works like a charm almost every time. So that's how that gets cleaned. This is a 14 inch skillet yellow soleil 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 is that what the color was it's all for full price excellent sale so, uh, 80 bucks 15 70 in shipping so they're 95 69 all in this lovely piece cost me five dollars and 99 cents did i show you a picture of the back there's the picture of the back lake crusade no brainer last one an equalizer i bought a stack of seven equalizers and and receivers and whatever from a church that looked like it was closing down so I went into the church. The two gentlemen uh, had these. They were still in the stack being taken out, but I, we were able to test all of them really quickly because of their sound systems. So it was great. So I knew all of them worked. It was fabulous. Um, and I knew, I, I mean, you know, they were trustworthy enough that uh, if I couldn't fully test them at home, I could still get them to function properly enough to uh, be confident selling them as you know anything other than non-working parts and labor. So this one I took an offer on 170. It is a Bolo, the Ashley. GQX3102 graphic equalizer. I bought seven of them for a total of $150. And after they are all sold through, I'm gonna make I'm gonna end up making like $1,500 or or more. So that was a steal. Like it, when this came on Facebook Marketplace, I jumped on the deal really quickly because you could clearly see that a lot of these stacks had excellent sell through. This one was no exception. 15 more bolos. That's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Brendan here, Dad Planet. Please leave a like if you liked what you saw and then consider subscribing if you are not already a current subscriber. But yeah, that's it. 15 more in the books. I appreciate you as always. And we will catch you in the next video.